Hey guys, in this video we are going to be adding a picker to our iPhone and Android app. Now a picker is, uh, what's a good example? Uh, when you have, when you load an, I don't know, like a calendar app in your iPhone slash Android and you, I don't know, you want to select your uh, a month or a date or even a day for your, for a new uh, event or some reminder or something and at the bottom of your screen this uh what do you call it this circle thing pops up and you like flick it up and down and you and the value changes and you select one of them and one of them gets selected and it goes on and so on uh okay that was a really bad explanation so i am going to actually just stop explaining what it is and actually write the code and load the simulator and the emulator both for and android and iphone because by default uh, the two looks completely different okay so i am going to create a window first a variable win equals tie.ui.create window and inside that i'm just going to say background color is going to be option there we go fff fff wait now i'm going to create picker so var picker equals tie.ui.create picker oh, p there we go and inside that we are going to say because we want it to be right at the bottom we're going to say bottom is zero and then we're going to say selection indicator is true uh, now in the ios this is basically the blue uh, translucent window it's one of those blue uh, horizontal window that indicates what you're currently selecting you'll see in a sec okay and the next thing we are going to do is we want we are going to create a, an array called I don't know a month it could be data it could be car it could be anything we're just going to create a variable called a month which is going to be an array okay so inside that we're going to say month zero equals tie dot ui dot create picker row and inside here oops I think I did it the wrong way around nope I did it the right way around that's fine inside here we're going to say a title it's going to be uh, January and then outside that we're going to have a value of zero one like so now what we are doing is in when we are using our picker there's going to be a couple of options in our picker say for example you want to use a picker to select a date you're going to have uh, between 0 and I don't know 28 or 31 or 29 or 30 depending on which month you are that's not important basically what we need to do is in order to insert that data the data which the user when using the picker can choose which one to select we need to create uh, an array for it so because in my example we uh, I am going to be creating a picker for selecting month I created an array called month and I'm just going to create an array for I don't know February uh, January up to about uh, April or May so I'm just going to copy this and paste it uh, that would do five times and I'm going to change this from month 0 to 0 4 and then I'm going to change this to February this to March March this to April and this to me. Also I'm going to change the value to 0, 03 and 04 and so on. Now this value doesn't have to be a number, it could be a string. I'm just giving it value of 0, 01 to 0, 05 because that's the numeric representation of the month. January is your first month. Once we've done creating our array of data, what we need to do is add this data into our picker. So what we're going to do is picker.add and uh, what's the variable name month so we are adding our month array into our picker now what we want to do is let's create just like in our slider and switch uh, video i created a label so that we could see the result changing i want to do that again so i'm going to create a, var a variable called label and that's going to equal oops that's my phone don't worry about it tie.ui.create label and inside here I'm going to say text equals uh, pick select 
the month 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 oh well, from the picker below okay and the comma and then below that I'm going to say the height is 40 as usual with is auto as usual and the top is going to be because that's right at the bottom I guess I'm just going to put it I don't know 50 pixels from the top and uh, the semicolon at the end okay the last thing we need to do or the penultimate thing we need to do is add the event listener for the picker so oops, too much space picker dot add event listener and it's we are looking at the change in and function e as usual so inside here we're going to say uh, label dot text going to equal e dot row dot title so it's going to be the title that what we want to display which is January to May and we would also want uh, the value to be displayed however we want it to be displayed like uh, January 01 or something like that so we are going to be adding this colon at the end as a string so e.row.title plus a colon and a space plus e dot row dot uh, val which is the value and don't forget the semicolons now the last thing we want to do is uh, add the picker and the label the variable label both the picker variable and the variable label to our window and then open our window so win dot add uh, picker and win dot add label and let's give it a bit more space because I, I don't want to keep on writing right at the bottom and win dot open oops oh not open okay as usual because I'm going to be opening it for both my Android and my iPhone I am going to pause my video here and I'll see you in a moment okay I'm back and both my iPhone simulator and my iPhone emulator has loaded now uh, by default these pickers are com looks completely different uh, visually in um, in iPhone and Android in my iPhone I've got my label and I've got my picker so I could just click on like January March April May and you can see that I have my title and I have my I have my value so this is it and in my Android I also have it's a bit small but my select the month from the picker below and uh, if I click on this uh, what do you call it inverted triangle I could select January to Mar uh, May and if I click on March it's going to say March 03 like so so uh, I was going to uh, do like a customization uh, in order so that the Android picker looks like the iPhone picker and so on and uh, some other stuff however the time is already passing 8 minutes and 30 seconds so I think I'll stop the video here and in my next video I will be doing those stuff so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later